Why would I want to steal? I once sent my secretary to the bank some years ago. This happened like twice. And she came back with an excess of 50,000 and that's not my money. I said, take it back, it's not mine. 50K, some years ago. I said, wow. I said, take it back, it's not mine. When she got to the bank, the cashier called me. He said, thank you. You saved me today. I will have paid the money. I said, listen, what God cannot give me, I don't need it. Oh, come on. Many of you are fighting. You are scheming. Should I do Yahoo? Should I not? Well, I'm, there's somebody here who is saying, I, 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 I mean, no, 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 no. Everyone help those who help themselves. It's a lie. Everyone help those who cannot help themselves. He said, hey, well, he says if I love him, I should sleep with him. You see, faith in God must condition your behavior. He says, we have this hope, verse 18. We have this hope because we have the assurance that it is impossible for God to lie. What has God said about you? Many of you are doubting because you don't even have that much faith yet in God. God cannot lie. Why would God want to lie? He said, let God be true and let all men be liars. That admission, you will not lose it. Because God is not a man that he should lie. He's not the son of man that would repent. That means he's not someone that will say one thing today and tomorrow will say another thing. It's not like guys that will say, I love you today. And after they have gone down, we'll say, I'm sorry, it was, I wasn't just. I explained the last time when I was talking about um, love, attraction, that most men who say they love fishing, don't love fishing, they love their stomach. Most men, when it, most time when a man say they love a girl, they don't love the girl, they just want a means to satisfy their sexual appetite. Because love is strong. The Bible describes love to be as strong as death. And that's why you find that many people deceive people who don't have love in them. Because when you have love in your heart, men can't deceive you with fake love. Somebody flash 10K in your eye, you feel like the world has come to an end. Somebody say amen. God cannot lie. And first, if you, if you think God, if you, if you are going to believe that God cannot lie, you've got to believe very strong in the existence of this God. You need very strong faith in God. Over your effort, tell somebody over your effort. And I decree over someone here today, what God will do in your life, men will look and say, ah, this could only have been God. That's what God does. God always wants to do things beyond your certificate. He always wants to do things beyond your qualification. And that's why the biggest thing we all can do for ourselves is to have faith in God, not in ourselves. Tell somebody, have faith in God. And I can tell you that for things that I say to you by the Spirit of God to be made manifest, you need to have very strong faith, not in me, but in God. And I, I, I know very strongly also that a lot of us are battling with faithlessness. And that's why some of you pray the way you pray. It's not that you want to pray because sometimes you even think it's your prayer that brings the result. Many times, people can pray very hard out of a doubtful heart. Let me just pray, thinking is your prayer. You don't have faith in God. You can also pray very hard because you have faith in God. You can also pray very hard because you don't have faith in God. But I, I, I would pray hard because I believe. And that's why the Bible said, this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Is the most potent tool in the world. It makes, it changes anything. It changes what? Anything. And that is the assurance I have for you tonight. That what will change your story is not your faith in the prayer that you pray. Get this clear. Testimony, you get it? It's don't stop believing that you pray and because you pray something will happen. That's like self-righteousness. That's like self-effort. Now, are you saying we should not pray? No. I'm saying pray, but as much as you pray, make sure that your faith is not in the prayer but in God. God will change your story. 
Your joy will not be cut short. Oh, come on. You know, you don't get what I'm saying. I say your joy will not be cut short. Your expectations in life, they will not be cut short. The things that you are desiring, you are hoping, you are expecting, they will not be cut short. We purify ourselves because we have this hope. Many of you don't understand the power of faith. When you have strong faith in God, he has what it takes to make you no more a liar. Because you say, you know what? Why do I want to lie when I have a God who can fight my battle? Why would I want to steal? I once sent my secretary to the bank some years ago. This happened like twice. And she came back with an excess of 50000 and that is not my money. I said, take it back. It's not mine. 50K. Some years ago. I said, wow. I said, take it back. It's not mine. When she got to the bank, the cashier called me. He said, thank you. You saved me today. I will have paid the money. I said, listen, what God cannot give me, I don't need it. Oh, come on. Many of you are fighting. You are scheming. Should I do Yahoo? Should I not? But I'm, there's somebody here who is saying, I, 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 I mean, no, 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 no. no. Everyone help those who help themselves. It's a lie. Everyone help those who cannot help themselves. He said, hey, well, he says if I love him, I should sleep with him. You see, faith in God must condition your behavior. Until your faith in God changes how you behave, then you've not really met God. The proof that you meet God is that you can say, you know what, like Joseph, how will I do this and sin against this God who can take care of me? The height that God cannot take you, you don't need it. He said, Pastor, but how do you, where do you get the strength to refund such amount of money that you go and give testimony for and say the Lord has done something good? I said, no, we don't do that. Some months ago, my wife sent me a message. Do you know so-and-so person? See, they just sent so they came to my account. I said, I don't know the person who. Well, she called the bank. He said, please, I saw so they came to my account. It's not my money. When your faith in God is not affecting some small, small behaviors, then you are not really believing in God. This is, this is the proof of faith that you can behave in a certain way that, ah, they said this is a person of, this is a man of faith. My wife was working with, her, with a company some years ago, and she told me that her boss left with her a blank check. Do you know what it means to give you a blank check for a company? Sign that whatever money you put in there is approved. That's a person of faith. And that's why my wife came here from the UK. And the first job she got, she was earning 10000 a month. 10000 a month. She said, it's not about the money. But over the years, she has built integrity. I'm proud of her. Because God cannot prove that you have faith if you cannot prove to God that let this faith change how I even talk. Some of you, all you need to change how you talk is faith in God. Somebody say amen. You say, I believe, I believe, yes, I know. The Bible says even the devil believes. So don't come and say, I believe. Don't bubble me with, I believe. Everybody believes. Even the devil believes and trouble. But the question is, how far can this faith go to change how you behave? It's about conduct. Until your faith can change your conduct, then God can be really proud of you like a person of faith. God loves everybody, but God does not trust everybody. I want to get to the point in my life when God can trust me. When God can say, you know what, I can give him one million, and he will give it back to me. The first time I gave one million in my life to church, it was about the last money I had in my account. I said, I just gave it out to the Lord. I said, yeah. He said, you gave it? I said, yes. He said, do you have more? I said, no. How do you mean? I just gave it. I said, God can trust me. Many of you are looking for money like this. And once you get the money, bam, you are gone. We won't even see your brake light. Some of us are not even as committed to God. Like, you know, I said before that some of us are still here. Say, well, let me just go and while away time. Not knowing that in while away time, some lives are being transformed. You can't be here while in away time. I used to know a young man many years ago. He used to brag. 
I, was ju I just got born again then. I was about, I was GSS3 or so. He used to brag, Pastor, you are missing. What am I missing? You are missing sex. He said, really? Because at that point, the, the, the first thing that changed my behavior to sex was my faith. It was not my will because my flesh just wanted a share of it. But my faith changed a lot of things for me. There were still struggles, yes. But my faith set a tone that I was following. He said they would call themselves together, two, three, four boys, three girls in one room. And when I look at them today, because all of these things are things that open the door to the devil in your life. You don't know. Say you're having fun. One girl, two girls, three girls in one room. And you have, I mean, it's exciting, feels good. Years to come, watch it. That's why some people, they entrench satanic demons into their flesh so much with sexual immorality. They don't understand it. It looks fun while they're having it. But the devil penetrates their flesh so deep that to deliver such people. For some, he's lying. I mean, there are so many other things that we can deal with. But tonight, your story will change. Because what God is about to do in your life requires that your faith in God is demonstrated by a conduct that is godly. And that's what he says. He says, he that sin is of the devil. Don't have hope that you have certificates or you have a degree or you have BSc. I didn't have a degree. I don't have one. And I, keep, I say it boldly. He says, the hope that we have is in what God said. And God has said, in blessing, I will bless you. Ah. Can, you can you just for once start thinking that God said he will bless me. I'm okay, I'm going to bed. Can you just start thinking, God said, I'm going to be. God said, what he is thinking about me is good. It's not bad. Ah, thank you, Lord, I'm okay. While you are focusing on that degree, focus on the fact that God said, I will bless you. That's enough for you to run in life. He said, I will make you great. He said, I will make your name great. He said, so that means that a day is coming when somebody will call your name and say, so and so sent me. I say, ah, yes, sir. One time, I, I, want, one time I, I needed money for a project and I tried everything possible to raise the money. It wasn't coming. Then I called one of my fathers. I said, sir, I'm trying to raise money for something. He said, hey, is that what? Is that what? I said, yes. He said, okay, go to the bank. Ask for so and so and they will give you the money. I said, just like that. <laughs> it looks like a miracle. I called the bank officer. I said, so and so sent me to you. How much? One million. Say, give me. And they gave me one million like that. No collateral, nothing. Names are powerful. God will make your name powerful. Yeah. Come on. Faith in God. And all of these things just by having faith in God. It's simple though. Is it not simple? It's simple, but it looks hard. That's why most of us are still struggling with behavior here and there. Some of you can still fight on the street. I know some of you will still fight. So if somebody will slap you, you won't just, you will slap back. Say, and you say, don't worry, Jesus is not telling me what to do, so I'm, let, me, let me decide what to do. And that's, see, that's where we all need to, the moment the faith that we have starts shaping our character, we will start seeing results. That's it. Because if God wants to favor you before a man and you are disrespectful to the man, how will favor come? That's why I'm saying that faith must first of all shape your character. How you talk, even as simple as how you talk. As simple as respecting people. As simple as forgiving, as simple as saying I forgive you from my heart and that's it. As simple as honoring people, respecting your parents, as simple as taking instruction from your pastor, as simple as God says, wake up Sunday morning and make that Sunday holy, as simple as that, as simple as wake up in the morning, read your Bible, as simple as love your neighbor, as simple as don't take what's not yours, as simple as that. As simple as don't try to impress your neighbor, just live your life, as simple as trust God that all is going to be well with you. Some of you are losing sleep because you are afraid. What are you afraid of when you have faith in God? Guess what? 
We have all entered the breakthrough season. I'm telling you, I shared, I shared it yesterday. And I was asking the Lord, so what are we doing now? He said, breakthrough. I said, okay, fine. So we put a flyer and said, it's a breakthrough season. And that's why I've been, I, I, I see myself lately, I've been very instructional with people. I've been telling them things specifically. Do this. Make sure you do this. Do, I was telling him yesterday, praise. I say you, well, I mean, I may say this now because, of course, it's a house. You've got to learn to submit to your parent as a teenager, as a youth. Your first level of breakthrough is at home. If you don't break through at home, you can't break through outside. The blessing that your father cannot give you, God will not give you. Is that I'm telling the truth? Yes. The blessing that your mother cannot release on you, God will block it. He said, honor your father and your mother that it may first be well with you. So I can say you come to church and then you go home. Your parents don't feel the impact of church in your life. And they'll be, ah, oh, too low. Eh, okay, oh, oh, that But let's go to the are you coming home today? No. Where are we going? We are going to Viji. Which Viji? Fire. He said, eh. Hey. Can that fire burn that lying tongue? Can that fire burn that cursing mouth? The same you go and, after fire, you go and sit down with Big Brother for seven hours. Which fire are you taking now? Can you imagine after, after, after being fired up for five hours all night, then tomorrow you are with big brother. I'm asked, how can you sit down with the tool of Satan? The same you having pornography on your phone. How does these things work? The same you are home. Somebody here insults their parents. Yeah, I see somebody here like that. The same you. So how would the fire break the limit? Until the fire break that character limit, it doesn't take you to your next level. So now we're dealing with character, we're dealing with character transformation. We're dealing with honoring God, reverencing God. As simple as evangelism, just because you have faith in God, go out and tell somebody about Christ. None of you. How many of you have won soul this year? One this year. Oh, praise God. Bring them to BOF at least. In fact, I've got to charge you, by the end of next month, everybody bring one person to BOF. One. Bring just one person. Just one. So that by the end of this year, we will be looking for a bigger place. Hear me, and I will, and I will say this. Fine. Everybody say amen. amen. What will change your story is already in you. Amen. No, no. That's not a prayer. It's not a prayer. I'm saying that to say that. What will change your story is already in you. Somebody must leave here asking themselves, this faith, this faith self, what has this faith done in my life? Any faith that cannot change your behavior cannot take you to the next level. Serious. Can somebody say amen? I decree over you today. Everything that Satan has put in your flesh, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I wipe it out now. Every strong man opposing your success, every strong man standing at the gate of your success, by the power in the name of Jesus, I want your amen to roar. By the power in the name of Jesus, I address every strong man standing at the gate of your character transformation. In Jesus' name, I rebuke them now. Thank you for listening. We believe that the words you've heard will make a tremendous impact in your life. To partner, volunteer, or co-host an outreach with us, please call the numbers below. You can also like, share and follow our channels. God bless you.